So today's video is a treadmill comparison review between these two Urevo treadmill models. Urevo currently offers three treadmill models on their site as well as Amazon. They all retail for under $380, making them quite affordable. All of the Urevo treadmills are foldable, compact, and can be stored under a bed or couch when not in use. I've reviewed all three models here on my channel, so feel free to check out those standalone videos if you're interested. Here's the first model that I reviewed in November of 2020. This is the second model that I reviewed in January of 2021. And here is the most recent model reviewed in July of 2021. For now, I'm gonna review their second gen as well as their newest model side by side. As I've owned and tested all three of these models, I'm going to do a group comparison towards the end of this video. I hope this will provide you a concise overview if you're interested in this brand. So you may be wondering, what are the biggest differences between these two models? The second gen model is an under desk treadmill, meaning that you can use it underneath a standing desk. You can walk with speeds of up to 3.6 miles per hour with the handlebars down. The second gen model has a horsepower of 2.5 and it has max speeds of 7.6 miles per hour. In contrast, the newest model or the third gen version, that one has a three horsepower motor and has max speeds of 8.7 miles per hour, making it the fastest of all three Urevo treadmills. Their newest treadmill also has a tray table if you like that feature. This treadmill can't be used as an under desk treadmill as you do need the tray table to be intact in order for the treadmill to run. So if you're looking for a greater horsepower and a greater max speed of 8.7 miles per hour, you may prefer the newest model. I'm gonna show you how compact and easy to store these treadmills are. Currently, I have them stored underneath the bed right here. So this is what the treadmills look like side by side. I've always wanted to do a comparison video of these treadmills, so now is the perfect time to do so. This is what the handlebar portion looks like for the second gen model. As you can see, it's a lot simpler. To access the controls, you just lift this portion up. We have a decrease speed, 3.0 running speed, a start button, emergency brake, a stop button, a 6.0 running speed, and an increased speed button. This portion also serves as a tablet or phone holder. This handlebar can be set up literally within seconds. All you have to do is flick the red switch. The red switch below locks it in place. There is also a convenient area for you to lubricate your treadmill. Unlike the other treadmill model where you have to manually add the lubricant oil underneath the belt, this one has this really handy area which I really appreciate. There is also a display on the base unit portion. If you are using this treadmill with a handlebar down, you can still see your metrics. And of course, we do have a remote control for when the handlebars are down. Out of the two treadmills, the second gen or the one on the left is more compact. It's about half an inch less wide and three inches less long. The one on the left is 16.9 inches and the one on the right is 17.3 inches. Also, the one on the left is 42.5 inches in length, and the one on the right is 45.7 inches in length. This makes the third gen treadmill here on the right nearly three inches longer. So this is what the third gen or the newest treadmill model looks like. Once again, one of the biggest differences aside from the horsepower and the max speed is that this treadmill has a nice little tray table if you're interested in that feature. It also has a pop-up screen which can literally be popped up or folded down when in storage. Of course, you'll still have your phone slash tablet holder, 
And another great feature of this is that they have 12 preset programs as designated right here. That is obviously something that the second gen model does not have. I also want to mention that when you increase and decrease the speed on this newest model, it does so in 0.5 increments, so you do have to be careful how many times you press the button because you don't want to get to a speed that's too fast for you to handle. The other treadmill can increase and decrease speed in 0.2 increments. Here is where the safety key goes, it's just this magnetic closure right here. The safety key on the second gen treadmill is literally just something that pops down and pops back up to lock it in place. So if you do have young kids and want to hide the safety key, there's no way of doing so with this model. Another great feature on the third gen model is that these have heart rate sensors on either side, which is a nice thing to have. Folding and unfolding this treadmill does take a little bit more time as there are two knobs that you need to place on the bottom as well as the top portion right here, which I haven't put them in place just for demonstration purposes. Please reference that video if you'd like to see it in action. The tread belts are also different. Here is a clip of the second gen tread belt. And here is a clip of the newly updated third gen tread belt. As you can see, this one has more of like a textured feel to it. Both of them are still non-slip, so you don't have to worry about slipping. The side rails are quite similar as well with this non-slip portion. Same on this one. The third gen treadmill also has this remote control with this wrist, so you can obviously easily wear it during your workout. I'm not sure how much use this would be because honestly, the controls are quite simple to use and very close to reach. Now, which treadmill model is my personal favorite? If I had to pick, I would choose the second gen model. Personally, I prefer the compact size. I'm five foot four and I don't find myself needing the larger belt size. The third gen model is really great because it does have an increase of horsepower as well as a higher max speed. But for me, I don't actually reach that max speed during my workouts. I hover a lot between like four and six and a half. So 7.5 for the second gen model is plenty of speed for me. It's nice that the third gen model has 12 preset programs. If you like that, if you'd like to have a little challenge, but for me, once again, I do use the Peloton workouts and they do call the speed adjustments, so I try to follow those instead. Here's a comparison of all three Urevo treadmill models. I apologize in advance if you've already heard this material. I did talk about this in my most recent Urevo treadmill video. This model has the same structure as the first gen treadmill with a tray table and the four knobs to collapse it. This model is also the fastest, giving you a max speed of 8.7 miles per hour versus the other two, which have a max speed of 7.6 and 7.5 miles per hour. It has a three horsepower motor, which is the same as the second gen treadmill and better than the first gen. Now I'm gonna talk about the second gen model and personally, it's my favorite model. This has the widest belt, which is 0.5 inches wider. It's also the fastest to collapse. It takes under 10 seconds to do so. Unlike the other two models, this treadmill can be used under a desk, meaning the handlebars fully collapse. Unlike the other two models, this model doesn't have a tray table option, so if you're looking for that feature, perhaps consider the other models. Lastly, we're moving on to the first gen treadmill. So this treadmill has the least amount of horsepower at 2.5 horsepower versus 3.0 for the other models. This model has a max speed of 7.5 miles per hour versus the newest model, which has a max speed of 8.7 miles per hour. This model also has the largest tray table. So if you're interested in that feature, you may want to consider the first gen. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below which treadmill do you gravitate towards. Do you prefer the second gen model as it can be used as an under desk treadmill? Or would you prefer to get the newest model which has a three horsepower motor and a max speed of 8.7 miles per hour? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.